By far, the number one question I get asked on stream is, Luke, how do I get out of insert rank here? So today, we're going to be answering exactly that. I went into my Discord and grabbed one person from every rank old through Grand Champ to break down what mistakes are holding them back. I'm going to be working up in order, analyzing a 2v2 replay from each of them. And once we can pick out three mistakes from each rank, that replay will end and we'll jump to the next. So whether you're gold or champ two watching, take notes because by the end of this, you'll be able to see exactly what it takes to jump from each rank to the next. And by the way, if you're new here, I run Rocket League's number one live coaching program called the Grand Champ Roadmap, where we take players like you watching ranked gold through champ up to Grand Champ in just six weeks or less. At the time I'm recording this, we've already sold out 71 of our 100 seats stocked for this upcoming March launch. And I imagine the rest will go within the next week or two. So if you're watching and you want to grab that GC or SSL title before we sell out and go on pause until May, DM the keyword miss on discord and we can make sure you don't miss out i'll have that first link down below and let's jump into the mistakes all right contestant number one we've got sick who is gold two your gold two in this replay man go two, yeah go oh. two d2 all right fire we'll check it out from your perspective Here, when this ball comes middle, what is the major red flag here? My teammate right there. Absolutely. Whenever you're in 2v2 and you see your teammate sitting under a ball like this, a big siren goes off in my head and I think I have to get out of here because this ball is in the middle of the field. My teammate is not playing second man, so we have nobody back. It's got to be you. And I noticed that you stay under here and you're looking at this ball and I believe your teammate does go back. But in general, we never want to be the one playing the maybe 50-50 and have our teammate back when our teammate could be the one going for 50-50 and us being back. You know what I'm saying? Because we want to control the game. That makes sense? Okay. Yep. And this is an awkward situation. Ball's going to come over the net. Whenever the ball's coming up above your net like this, the best thing that I recommend you do is get to the side. If you're at a high rank, you can just jump up and pinch this ball and try to clear it out. If you're at the lower ranks, man, your best bet whenever there's a ball like high over your net, get to the side because when we look at this ball from a side angle, it's much easier to judge the depth of it. We can see if it's going to bounce up off the wall, if it's going to roll out, if it's going to stay glued. And when you're attacking from here, the only way that you clear this ball is up above your net, which is just going to recenter. So we always want to be saving from the side here. And this goes for twos and threes. Oh, wow. That's great. I never thought of that. I really like that. So the ball's going to go forward. You're going to push this ball upfield. I don't mind you moving through here. You're going to go for a shot. Love this. So you make your center, but then we pause and we stop here after you make the center and you see your teammate here who's got a better angle to attack this ball oh absolutely him yeah right and that's uh, this is actually a super common thing so it's very tempting especially in 2v2 and 3v3 to like when you center the ball to want to follow it up as you get into champ it's going to become more important to like stay on the ball you know sometimes you need to set yourself up make a two touch play follow things up but at the low ranks your teammates are just waiting for their chance to go so the longer you stay on the ball the more risky things are going to get because you're going to get into situations where you're staying up field trying to follow up your own shot and your teammates just going to drive through without even looking at you so make your touch especially if it's a center and then get out immediately fair enough fair yeah that's great man that's just like some things that i've like never even thought of so very helpful all right we're leveling up to plat now you're plat two man yeah all right sweet so we'll check out plat two looks good and you're gonna make a nice touch here but once again, the, the minute you see, okay, he's kind of moving this way, what do you think you should do? I should rotate back at this point to the right. Absolutely. Just like insta bail, instantly say, okay, my teammates in front of me, nobody's covering the net. I'm going to assume he's just going for this. Just respect him here. I would start my rotation pretty wide because I don't see a threat coming very quickly. And as I'm rotating, I have ball cam on, so I'm, I'm ready to turn here. If I need to here, if I need to, the idea is you're moving along these pads watching the play and at any point you could cut back in depending on how much time you have i like that you're rotating back post here man the only issue with rotating back post in this situation specifically is that there's nobody on your team to 
actually contest this guy anywhere on this part of the field. So back post is generally good because it allows you to cover your net, but it's not great to be sitting in net if somebody's attacking and they have nobody contesting their shot. It opens up this entire field for a freak if he, you know, takes the opportunity to maybe dribble the ball through the center here and, you know, take a shot. I'm not saying just go for the ball all in here because you don't want him to take a shot. Ideally, you want to get over here and you want to start shadowing and kind of just stall. Your goal here should just be to kind of push him into your corner and try to collect the ball in your corner and stall if at all possible. Oh no, boost over ball. Oh no, all right. No explanation needed, right? Nope. <laughs> on, on to diamond. All right, we'll check out yours, Rossi. So in this one, you are D3, I believe? Uh, yeah, D2, D3. Either high D2 or real low D3. All right. We will count this. We will count this here. So this is this is great. You grab boost. You recognize, hey, my teammate's not anywhere on the field. I got to go for the ball. Fair enough. You go for it. Um, get a little bit under it. That's totally fine. Look for the demo. However, comma, after you don't get the demo, what do we know about where the ball is right now? Uh, instant rotation. Turn around. Yeah, absolutely. And if you were back instantly, you save this ball 100%. So I love, so this is great. We're, we're playing back. I love how naturally when this 50-50 happens, and this is something that diamond players are doing that plats and golds aren't. When a 50-50 is about to take place and we don't know what's going on here, it's your natural instinct to pivot your car back. I like this. This is like, this is a good reactionary play. When this ball is here though, this guy looks like he's jumping. Look how close he is to the ball versus you are jumping. Look at where you're jumping from. This is a mistake that so many diamond players make. You're thinking, I want to go for the ball. Exactly what you should be thinking, but I want to go for the ball doesn't mean I need to jump. Yeah. That means I need to be a little more patient, allow the opportunity to present itself more clearly, get a little closer, and then beat him to the ball. Exactly. Luckily, he messes up. You get the goal. But if he continues to fly there, you are obviously stuck midair, and he's probably hitting the ball over you, right? All right, so we'll get a 50 here. We'll rotate around, and so far, so good. But this is, I think, one of those situations, again, where the minute you, like in 2v2 especially, if you realize that your teammate is going for the ball, if I'm you, I'm thinking somebody needs to get back ASAP because we have nobody on our backside, uh, on the backfield right now. And that's exactly what happens. You get into a situation where sure, now you have ball, but the only option is to take this to your corner, really, and try to control it. Just that tip alone, I, I can already... I there's replays running through my mind that I've watched over and over again where that tip alone will change the game for me. All right, so we're leveling up now to champ and we're checking out Cool Nerd. You're on uh, Orange here. This replay is C1 specifically, right? This is uh, this is like top C1, low C2. Fire. All right, we'll check it out. Nice save. Good job realizing like, hey, ball's over my head. I need to rotate around. One small thing, whenever you're rotating, really get in the habit of following this path around your rotation whenever possible. This ball is hit very high here and it's not in a threatening position. So you have time to gather boost and rotate around here and flipping through just puts you in the center of the net with no additional boost. You could be at a hundred here back post. Oh no, okay. Unfortunate, and then we try to cut. We we try to cut this angle short. There's no rush here, and I rushed it. Yeah, like in this situation, ball comes corner, right? There's no threat. There's no shot coming. No players attacking from the blue team, and yet we're turning on to the ball. If you make a mistake, you just rotate out. Pretend your play is over. Pretend you made your play, and this would rotate back. Yeah, I think that's a good call, and especially since it's like you said, it's pretty common where it's try. Oh, it's almost like trying to go too fast, and you don't need to. Hundred percent. He'll play this ball up. Oh, this is, yeah, we can't, we can't let this one slide. This one happened in diamond and it's happening in champ. The defender's always going to be in a better position by default than the attacker will, because you have to put a shot on net, whereas all the defender has to do is clear the ball anywhere. So you have to have a massive head start to ever warrant going, or he has to whiff entirely. This is why, like, if it's at all in the air, you don't go for the center. You never go for the center. Any questions about any of that though? I think that was a great replay. No, I, I, I appreciate it. I as always I, I think it's it's great to have some insight especially from a third party's perspective right on, on the way it is and then you're watching yourself you just you're like gosh I, how did i do this but you know in the moment you don't realize you do it but it's, it's the whole reason of going back and watching your replays what yeah. we're watching your replays and self critiquing is it, it's it's underrated so appreciate it there we go we'll check out uh you boyd so you're gc1 in this 
Yeah, this is like 1507. 1507, perfect. Okay, this this has got to be our first big mistake. You're at 43 boost, right? If you're zero boost here, maybe I understand the flip back. But with all the boost pads that are sitting out in the middle of this field, and you probably already know the path, move something like this. Because sure, if our team, we do want to move back here as they're moving the ball up the field, but the shot's not coming on that immediately. This move out is a little bit suspicious. And truth be told, if instead of right here right now, you are right here right now, what happens when this ball comes center? What's happening right now? Yeah, I'm a, that's like a shot in their net. You are connecting with it right now, right? Mm -hmm. And this is the problem with like playing that like passive play style. Yeah, it doesn't cost you a goal, but you miss out on one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ball's going to get flicked up. He'll hit it back. And yeah, truth be told, after he flicks this ball, we can, we can even hit the brakes even more. If we hit the brakes even more here, that clear is a pass to us. But because we continue to inch forward, this clear is now not a pass. In general, when you're moving through offense, we really don't like moving past this pad as the second man. Because once we move past this pad, unless the ball is perfectly centered, we're not hitting it. And so when you move past this pad, this is what kills you. I like your aggression on offense for sure. You're shutting things down when you do have free challenge. Challenges, this is not allowed and this is the thing i want to highlight here Th this looks good right because it's like mm -hmm. oh i could beat him but even if you beat him what happens it just comes back center to who probably their second man right here who's just gonna go clear it right it's better to just be a presence and force him to hit the ball and start shadowing him than anything else and now your teammates in a 2v1 and he clutches up but that could have that this could have been ot right there overall what do we think were the biggest takeaways across rank for 2v2 positioning and 2v2 like kind of kind of just like 2v2 uh game sense in general what did we see as we went up the ranks what what improved we stayed in the play longer when there was a threat for sure hesitance on jumping into plays on offense absolutely was generally better keeping an eye on the opponents when when the yeah. ball comes center not just getting a uh, ball hungry right ball greedy mm -hmm. seeing the ball in the center yeah and overall decision making in general it seemed like each decision that was plaguing the last was just significant significantly improved as the ranks went up right 100 percent. i think we saw a little bit better shadowing a little bit less committing for sure as we went up the ranks and better control of the ball holding onto the ball more. The mechanics slowly accelerated, but yeah, those decision-making mistakes, it's crazy. There was like a direct improvement as every rank went up. All right, so moral of the story is don't push up too far on offense. Stop going for centers and uh, perhaps uh, start the game with the <laughs> controller in your hands, eh? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I think that was seen in what? Gold, plat, and like diamond? And or diamond. One of them. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> there we go <laughs> sweet and if you're on the other team make sure to say this is rocket league right oh yeah definitely <laughs> what a save <laughs>